This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're going to make a meat and cabbage boiled dinner in the crock pot. It worked. It really worked. All right, on to dinner. Okay, as you all know, Papa and I went to Peterborough this weekend. And here in Quebec, um, they don't sell these. But these are, these are one of the few cured pork products that I will buy. And rest assured, I will figure out how to make these. This is called, and you can't really see it, it's called a, a cured pork cottage roll. And the roll word is covered by the tag. And basically what this is, is a pickled piece of pork but it hasn't been like smoked like a ham. It's, it's raw and it's, it's got quite a different texture and flavor. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it in my crock pot and I'm just going to put in four potatoes because it's just daddy and I, and I'm going to put in, I'm going to take these smaller pieces and cut this up a bit more. I'm just going to pop these all in here. And the one final ingredient just for Papa. Now I have this on high because it is one in the afternoon and Papa's going to be home in about four hours. But if you were going to do this before you went to work, you would just put all this in the, in the crock pot, add a couple of cups of water, and put it on low and then go to work and let it cook for the day. This will actually push down eventually as the cab cabbage softens. All right, we'll see you guys when this is done. Here is our boiled cottage roll cabbage and potato dinner. And I'm going to get this on the table because Papa's home and he's doing the chores. Your onions started to fall apart. I'm sorry. Half an onion, yeah. People to see how it, uh, because a lot of people don't even know what a cottage roll is. I was explaining here in Quebec, they're they're really difficult to find. It's kind of like a boiled ham, folks. It's the only way to describe it, but the texture's different. Mm. When we were in Peterborough um, this weekend, we went to a store where I knew I could get cottage roll. And I cleaned them out. I bought four of them. This is one of the few meats we eat that actually has nitrates in it, eh, dear? Cottage roll and female bacon is just about it. Here comes the pepper. It's been a long time since we had one of these. Yeah, these just pull right apart. Mm. Awesome. And that's the cabbage from our garden, from the greenhouse. Sure. So have a taste of that. There you go. Fantastic. Thank you, dear. This is the Mrs. Volvi from our Half Acre Homestead saying just because you're canning all day doesn't mean you can't put a nice meal on the table, especially when you got crock pots. Take care. Bye-bye.